Hello everyone, and thank you for signing up for OneDesk. OneDesk is a unique application that combines help desk and project management. Let me show you around. On your screen, you're probably seeing something that looks like this. This is the Get Started menu, and it is always available for you to reference in the top navigation. The Get Started menu has a few sections to help you learn about OneDesk, but for now, I want to draw your attention to the quick setup. It is important that you take a few minutes to complete the steps in this wizard. Once you've completed these steps, your account will be fully set up. While you may want to adjust some details afterwards, you will be able to use OneDesk right away. On the bottom right, you will find our chat box. This allows you to ask our support team any questions that you may have. Send in your questions and we will answer them either immediately or by email soon afterwards. Once your quick setup is completed, you will start to receive tickets and customer records in your OneDesk as emails arrive from your customers. Tickets can be found under the ticket icon in the left head navigation. Tasks can be found under the task icon here. In OneDesk, all your tickets and tasks are organized into projects found here under the projects icon. Projects can be shared with your users and customers. If you want, you can organize your projects into portfolios. To take an action on anything in OneDesk, simply click on the action menu next to it, represented by the ellipsis icon. For example, in the tickets application, the action menu allows you to view the ticket details, to delete the ticket, to insert a new one, and much more. You can even multi-select to take actions on multiple tickets at once. To view the details of an item, you can double-click on the ID number that's been assigned to it. This shows the ticket's details in a new tab. Here, you can modify it, reply to the customer, or start an internal conversation with your team. You can also add timesheets, track activities, and add subtasks on this ticket. This works for tasks too. For example, inside tasks application, I can open up a tasks detail panel by clicking on its ID number. Here, I can change the status and post an internal message to my team. I can navigate back to the task list at any time and I'm able to close my tabs when I'm finished with them. To navigate around OneDesk, you only need to know three things. First, you need to know the app that you're in, like tickets and tasks, the project level you currently have selected, and the view that you are in. These three things work together to determine what you're currently looking at on your screen. You can always know where you are by looking at the breadcrumbs at the top here. So you can see that I'm currently looking at my tasks application, I'm looking at all projects, and I'm in the tree view. Views allow you to filter, group, sort, and define layouts and columns for your information. Views are divided into the main views at the top here and custom views down here. The main views consist of things like the tree view, the flat view, the GAND view, status board view, etc. Custom views can be defined by you by clicking here. We've pre-created a few custom views for you. You can feel free to edit them or delete them as you see fit. To create anything new in OneDesk, you use the Add menu at the top here. Here you can create things like new users, new tickets or tasks, or any of the other options on the menu. Let's create a new ticket. We can give it a name, place it into a project, and add an assignee. Now our ticket has been successfully created. The Tools menu has a variety of tools for you to use, and by clicking on your name, you will find some useful links. I encourage you to explore these, but one thing I would like to point out are these links to your customer applications. For example, I can select my customer portal, which will open up the portal in a new browser tab. The messenger is found in the bottom left. This application centralizes all your communication in OneDesk, whether it be messages from team members, live chats, and emails from customers. You will never miss any communication when you use the OneDesk Messenger. In OneDesk, you don't need to worry about how you're communicating with someone. You just post your reply here and they will get it, live in a chat, posted to the customer portal or by email. OneDesk will take care of the details. Under more applications, we have apps to manage timesheets, customers, users, activities, and more. 
All of OneDesk's applications have videos covering their features if you want a deeper dive into any specific area. One final thing I'd like to point out is the administration app. This app allows you to configure many things in OneDesk like statuses, custom fields, forms, email options, automations, customer applications, and lots more. OneDesk ships with some pretty good defaults for these, so we recommend that you get some experience with OneDesk before changing these settings here. And as always, we are here if you have any questions or need any help. Thank you for using OneDesk.